Okay, just in case uh, you are wondering what an average day for me is, join me. I'll explain. Yeah, and this is just average. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm all OTF today, on the fly, holding my cell phone. Not an official camera, but this is an unofficial production. I just want to share with you guys really quick on uh, a little bit of my average day. So, uh, first of all, when I get up, the first thing I do, I get up. Uh, about 3 30 in the morning and I start my day yeah and about uh, 6 30 in the morning I'm a caregiver for my um, mother-in-law so I take care of her when she gets up feed her two meals uh, bathe her if I have to uh, get her clothes uh, you know well I have to and change her clothes do her laundry, uh, do some housekeeping, uh, wash the dishes, and uh, so that's what I do until my wife gets up. And then when my wife gets up, I start my day. Yeah. So, uh, like today, I have a, a typically I'll film an episode, a couple episodes. The other day I filmed. I filmed four episodes, I produced two, the following morning I got up, took care of my mother-in-law, produced two episodes, went down and filmed one big major episode, and that was the interview I did with that uh, 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 Hollywood screen star uh, Marlon Mason. I'm going to be uh, acting in a movie with her uh, coming up pretty quick. But I, I got introduced to her, introduced you guys to her. Uh, she was Elvis Presley's co-star in uh, Trouble with Girls. Anyway, I processed that movie. Uh, I filmed it and took me two. is a 45-minute episode. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and look at it. But it's called uh, a, an exclusive interview with Marlon Mason and Ray Nomoto Robinson. Yeah, that'll come up in a minute. But I talked to Marlon, uh, interviewed Ray, and I hired a sound guy, and we went uh, at this really neat venue, and we were able to sit down and do it. So that is another thing I did. Came home, took me two days to produce that, but the following day after that, I had to go across the street and film uh, two episodes. No, I filmed three episodes with my neighbor with the rhino elephants and... Uh, yeah, bison. And then I hired this uh, guy who is a uh, musician uh, and he does soundtracks for movies. So stay tuned for those videos. I'll share more with you guys in later about that. But I went back over, filmed two episodes with the bison and the elephants with him playing instruments. Yeah, that is a teaser. Uh, stay tuned for that in, uh, video. But uh rendered those videos yeah i've got a lot going on on my plate right now uh being a filmmaker executive producer for films got a couple more scripts on my desk so i'm having to review those scripts and today like i said i got up took care of mom uh and then i came out did farm chores i fed the animals and then I, uh, as soon as uh, Becky, my wife, got up, I was able to go down and meet Ray Nomoto Robinson. We're having meetings to prepare for the new, uh, another film we've got in the project. A lot of fun for that film. Plus, we're working on another film project that's coming up. 
Plus we're working on a third film project that's coming up in June. So I've got one, two, three, four, five film projects coming up this year alone. Three of them I'm producing. One of them, I, it's my own project. And I've been hiring people as they go along to try to film that. Plus filming my own shows for your guys' entertainment. And, um, yeah, and, and doing homesteading. Speaking of homesteading, I got to get my chores done for the evening. Let me show you, uh, come with me. I just got to get one more, um, <laughs> I got to get the billy goats fed. Okay, it's kind of dark in here, but I've got hay up here. I got to go get some hay to the billy goats. I already fed the, fed the nanny goats. Let me turn my light off. Yeah, I feed them uh, some hay. It's yeah, it's square. At least my goats get a square meal. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Turkeys are fed. Oh, over there the ducks are fed. The geese are feeding right now because they put some feed in their little feeder that's under the barn there. That's my jerry rig. You guys got to check that out on my show. Uh, already took care of the rabbits in the bunny bungalow. Chickens are fed. Uh, everybody has fresh water, fresh food. Uh, my new hatchling chicks that are growing into hands, they should start egg laying here pretty soon. They're, uh, oh, pew. I smell a skunk spray under the bunny bungalow. That's not good. Anyway, he's probably looking for eggs. There's an egg right there. A duck egg. Anyway, billy goats, they get fed. They got fresh water down there. Here you guys go. They get a square meal. So after my uh, meeting with Ray, uh, it's like 7.30 at night right now yeah and I go to bed at 8 so what I did was I came home and I had to uh, well I got a honeydew list when I went to town because I don't go to town too often so my wife knew I had a meeting to go to so she sent me a list of things to get I got them got them home and then as soon as I got home Put the groceries on the counter and told her, okay, here's your groceries, put them away. Yeah. I found some uh, carrot seeds at the store where I was shopping on the honeydew list. These carrots are about ready to be harvested. They're growing with my tomatoes. I already featured this, but I planted carrots in here. Yeah, I came right home, planted carrots, watered the garden. Yep, had to water the garden. And then came in here and I planted a bunch of products in here for uh, growing soon. Look at this gourd. First time ever growing a gourd. And zucchini. I got zucchini, uh, watermelon, uh, cantaloupe. Uh, straight neck squash, pumpkin. I got one thing of pumpkin, but I got uh, about three pumpkin seeds. Stay tuned for that video because I do have an idea I want to do with those. I planted some dill from dill seed I saved back from dill I grew before. Broccoli, market more cucumbers, eggplant, uh, big gym, uh, peppers, table queen squash. Yeah, I got stuff growing everywhere in here. Look at everywhere. Stuff. So, like I said, uh, I'm busier than a one-armed paper hanger in a hurricane. And, yeah, folks, I'm retired. I've been retired for two years. This is my retirement, and I refuse to let that recliner uh, suck me in because when I was working healthcare, 
I experienced so many different patients who retired and within a few years they were in the hospital bed and I was happened to have sometimes happened to do CPR on them so it, when you retire please 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 don't think your reward is the uh, recliner please don't do that 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 is an early death that is a there yeah the recliner is an early death don't do it stay active have fun and uh like my example is i found another path to enjoy my hobbies painting getting cut art into the galleries filmmaking uh producing my youtube channel making extra money on the side from retirement yep and uh all that yeah and also improving my house my homestead as you see here in another video when i did some improvements on my deck i also took a moment to uh paint my beehives they were as you noticed they were uh, I think red and yellow uh, previous so I went and repainted them and uh, put the uh, frames up here in the honey supers so now they are set and ready to go to attract bees if a bee wants to colonize that we'll see and on top of that, I'm uh, arranging another epic interview with a movie star. Yes. Uh, if you guys didn't see that interview I did with uh, Marlon Mason last week, uh, she is, uh, Marlon Mason was Elvis Presley's leading lady in The Trouble with Girls, and she also sang a duet, or one of three women that recorded a duet with uh, Elvis. So I sat down and had a nice 45-minute conversation with Marlon, and then I'm getting ready to go and hopefully uh, get it arranged today or tomorrow to go up to the Applegate and interview another uh, film star. This gal's a legend. Uh, we're talking a famous pink car, a, a famous rare pink car, Charles Manson, and... Uh, a lunar experience yeah uh, she well up uh, her picture went to the moon with the astronauts and actually walked on the surface of the moon she did not but her picture did anyway we're gonna talk to her I'll share with you guys who she is and uh, that's gonna be an epic interview anyway that's it I'm Jerry Hansen your host this is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm we're a homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Be safe, always be kind, and oh yeah, I got more beekeeping to do. Always something when you're a farmer, but I love it. We'll see you guys later. Good night.